this square clock really is the granddaddy of them all, isn't it? It's over 10 feet high. I'm just over six foot so that uh, you can see what an enormous beastie he is. And he's very interesting because if you look, he's got two faces interlocked into one. And we'll just get a bit nearer and show you some detail. So here on the left hand side, you've got Greenwich Mean Time from the hours, the minutes and the seconds. Whereas on the right hand side, you've got sidereal time with the hours, the minutes and the seconds. And the Greenwich Mean Time is connected then to the calendar above. So the outer ring up here is the calendar, 365 days. And on the inner dial here, you've got the difference between Greenwich Mean Time and solar time from a sundial. So the two seconds dials slowly come in and out of phase as the Greenwich Mean Time is timed to uh, 24 hours for a day, whereas the sidereal dial is timed for 23 hours, 56 minutes, 4.09 seconds for a day. But even in that time, it is measured and shown for 24 hours. What's sidereal time? It's the measuring the time from the stars because the movement around the orbit is irrelevant. It's so small in comparison with the stars that um, you can't even measure the difference. And so that sidereal time is used in navigation and astronomy. And so this is really an executive toy because you wouldn't be doing navigation or astronomy if you had a clock like this in your boardroom, would you?